Hi everyone. I'm so excited to take this time to read to you. Thank you so much to your teachers for inviting me. This is a story called The Empty Pot. This is one of my favorites. Let's see after we read together if you can figure out why. The Empty Pot. A long time ago in China, there was a boy named Ping who loved flowers. Anything he planted burst into bloom. Up came flowers, bushes, and even big fruit trees, as if by magic. That is not me. I do not have a green thumb. Everyone in the kingdom loved flowers too. They planted them everywhere and the air smelled like perfume. The emperor loved birds and animals, but flowers most of all, and he tended his own garden every day. But the emperor was very old. He needed to choose a successor to the throne. What does that mean, a successor to the throne? Think about what that means. See if you can figure it out as you keep listening. Who would his successor be? And how would the emperor choose? Because the emperor loved flowers so much, he decided to let the flowers choose. The next day, a proclamation was issued. All the children in the land were to come to the palace. There, they would be given special flower seeds by the emperor. Whoever can show me their best in a year's time, he said, will succeed me to the throne. So think about that. He was going to be giving out seeds and he said, whoever can bring back their best in one year will succeed me, will become the next emperor in a year's time. The news created great excitement throughout the land. Children from all over the country swarmed to the palace to get their flower seeds. All the parents wanted their children to be chosen emperor and all of the children hoped they would be chosen too. This looks like our line at dismissal, right, Quentin? And all of our other knocks on kids, Nolan, right? Doesn't this look like our line at dismissal when it's time to leave at the end of the day? And that's how many children were coming because they wanted to try, they wanted to have their chance to be the emperor, to grow those seeds. When Ping received his seed from the emperor, he was the happiest child of all. He was sure he could grow the most beautiful flower. Ping filled a flower pot with rich soil. He planted the seed in it very, very carefully. Sounds like he's preparing himself for success, right? He's taking his time step by step. He watered it every day. He couldn't wait to see it sprout, grow, and blossom into a beautiful flower. Day after day passed, but nothing grew in his pot. Hmm. Ping was very worried. He put new soil into a bigger pot. He transferred the seed into the rich black soil. Another two months, he waited, but still nothing happened. By and by, a whole year passed. So surprising. Hmm. Spring came and all the children put on their best clothes to go and greet the emperor. They rushed to the palace with their beautiful flowers, eagerly hoping to be chosen. It seems like they didn't have the same luck as Ping, right? They have big, beautiful flowers. Hmm. Ping was ashamed of his empty pot. He thought the other children would laugh at him because for once he couldn't get a flower to grow. His clever friend ran by holding a great big plant. Ping, he said. You're not really going to the emperor with that empty pot, are you? 
Couldn't you grow a great big flower like mine? I've grown lots of flowers better than yours, Pink said. It's just that this seed wouldn't grow. If Pink was doing the best he can to grow his flower, I don't know why he would feel ashamed. Right? All we can do is the best we can. We can't always control the outcome. Ping's father overheard this and said, you did your best and your best is good enough to present to the empire, I mean, to the emperor. So I agree with Ping's father. Holding the empty pot in his hands, Ping went straight to the palace. It takes a lot of courage for Ping to go to the emperor even though his pot is empty. The emperor was looking at the flowers slowly, one by one. How beautiful all those flowers were. But the emperor just frowned and did not say one word. I wonder why he's frowning while he looks at all of those beautiful flowers. Hmm. Finally, he came to Ping. Ping hung his head in shame, expecting to be punished. The emperor asked him, why did you bring an empty pot? King started to cry and he replied, I planted the seed you gave me and I watered it every day, but it didn't sprout. I put it in a better pot with better soil, but it still didn't sprout. I tended it all year long, but nothing grew. So today I had to bring an empty pot without a flower because that, that's the best I could do. When the emperor heard those words, a smile slowly spread over his face and he put his arms around Ping. Then he exclaimed to one and all, I have found him, I have found him, I have found the one person worthy of being emperor. Where you got your seeds from, I do not know, he said to everyone else in the crowd. Where you got your seeds from, I do not know. For the seeds I gave all of you had been cooked. So it would be impossible for any of them to grow. Are you understanding? Why is it that Ping is the one person worthy enough to be the emperor. What did Ping do that was different than every other child? Ping was honest, right? When the other children saw that their flowers didn't grow, what did they do? They must have gone and put new seeds, not using the seed the emperor had given, him, given them. Right? But Ping was honest and he had courage to go and tell the truth even though he had to say something that he wasn't proud of. He had to say, it didn't grow, and I'm not proud of that, but I have enough courage to tell the truth. And look how he was rewarded by the emperor. I admire Ping's great courage to appear before me with the empty truth. And now I reward him with my entire kingdom and make him emperor of all the land. The end. Why is the empty pot one of my favorite stories? Those students who are in this class from Noxon, I'm sure you know, the values that are, we're reminded of in this story are those same values that Noxon heroes possess, right? 
We're always honest. No matter how difficult, we always tell the truth. We do our best, right? At everything we do, we do our best. So those are two reasons why I love the story. I also love the story because I love to learn about different cultures, okay? I love to learn about Ping. I love to learn about the emperor. So again, this is just a great story to broaden our horizons, to teach us a lesson, and of course, to sit back in your, in your cozy classroom and enjoy being read to. Thanks everyone, have a great day.